Should big cats be kept in natural surroundings or on concrete? You decide. At Big Cat Rescue, we don't believe that cats belong in cages to begin with, and certainly not in situations like this. Until society speaks up for better laws to protect these animals, the sad fact is that they will continue to be bred and used and discarded into cages. These feet were made for walking, for patrolling 400 square miles of territory. There is no way to humanely cage a big cat, but some are worse than others. Even zoos that provide a natural habitat during the day usually lock the cats up in little concrete cells at night. Cats are nocturnal, so this means that during the time of day that they would most likely be awake, they're locked up inside. Taunted by day and jailed by night, it is no wonder that they show their stress in pacing, stereotypic behavior, and self-mutilation. Visitors to Big Cat Rescue always comment on how peaceful our cats appear. Our cats feel the earth beneath their feet and are never kept on concrete or brought into tiny jail cells at night. Unfortunately, most exotic cats are kept on concrete and you can see the detrimental effects that it has on their bones, their joints, their feet. Often their paw pads will bleed from constantly pacing on concrete, as opposed to being able to walk on the soft earth. The reason people use concrete cages is because it's cheaper and it's easier to spray out a concrete cell. Our cats live longer, healthier, happier lives than those who are kept in these miserable conditions. Cats need to be cats. At Big Cat Rescue, we've gone to extraordinary expense to give these cats the best life we can in captivity. Enormous cages, 1,200 square feet to three acres in size, with ponds that have running water. But Florida's Wildlife Commission is proposing rules that will promote tiny, overcrowded, miserable conditions for big cats, and we need your help. The new rule requires that all captive wildlife be kept on concrete or have a three-foot concrete footer or apron around the inside of the cage. In 15 years, we have never even heard of an exotic cat digging out of his enclosure. We track escapes worldwide and since 1990, when we first started tracking, there have been 150 escapes by exotic cats, but not one of them was said to have dug out of his enclosure. Our cages are anchored top and bottom by massive trees and their root systems. They've withstood hurricanes and flooding, but we decided to really put it to the test. Florida's Wildlife Commission says that they're not going to grandfather in any cages which means all of the cages would have to be rebuilt. We estimate that cost to be well in excess of a million dollars just to rebuild our cages. Well, two people with chains can't do it, so let's try the golf cart and see how far we get with that. We've hooked the golf cart up to the fence and Scott's pulling away, and all you can see is the tires are spinning into the dirt. The cage is not giving at all. This would be a tremendous expense with no added benefit. Cats just don't dig out. The golf cart didn't work, so how about a 245 horsepower V8 Dodge Ram pickup truck like the one pulling this dump truck? We've got one of those, so let's give that a try. So we've hooked up a couple of chains, and as you can see, the truck ends up being pulled down into the ditch and spinning out. So we tried it again, and still no luck. The cage stood firm. So I asked Chris to walk around the entire sanctuary and videotape every single cage. He put together hours of videotape for us to show Florida's Wildlife Conservation Commission. 
to show them that in no case do these cats try to dig out. Florida law only requires that a tiger that can weigh upwards of 700 pounds can be kept in a cage as small as 10 by 24 feet. That's 240 square feet. Our smallest tiger enclosure is 1,200 square feet, and our largest is three acres. No matter how large the enclosure is, however, the cats will always patrol at the very outside edge of what they're allowed to have. If we have to cover this in concrete or in wire mesh, this will be very detrimental to their bones, to their paw pads, to their quality of life. Most of Florida Wildlife Commission's new rules are really good and we would urge you to support them. For instance, they're suggesting that the cougar be upgraded from a pet to a cat that cannot be kept as a pet. And this is really a good idea. But what's ironic is that they are grandfathering in people having cougars as pets and yet are not grandfathering in cages that have never had escapes. Are these secure cages really more dangerous than the idea of someone walking a cougar on a leash? This new rule penalizes places like Big Cat Rescue who are trying to provide the most natural environments possible for their exotic cats while rewarding places that keep them in tiny, miserable concrete cells. Ask Florida Wildlife's Commission to end the practices that result in so many of these cats needing to be rescued. We need better rules to protect these animals and the public, but putting them on concrete is cruel. We make it easy for you to contact the commissioners at catlaws.com. Please help us help them.